What's up? So, welcome YouTube. Back to, back finally for another video. It's been a while. I apologies, just been a pretty busy recently, but I've decided from now onwards, we are going back to weekly uploads because I feel like you guys deserve that. I've had so much support from all of you across prep and then moving into this bulk and the YouTube really was picking up and everyone's loving the videos. And I just want to keep the content coming. I think it's really good. I enjoy doing it. So we're going to go back to weekly uploads, 100%. So from today, this is the first one, and then it'll be every Sunday. Every single week, we'll keep the content coming, which will be, I think it's better pace just to keep things moving, really. And we can cover more topics in terms of more inf informative videos, maybe some more educational stuff. Let me know what you want, because I, you know, I want to make sure I'm creating videos that you like to see as well. Uh, but we've got a full day of eating in the off season again because my diet has changed a little bit since then. Well, quite a lot actually. Um, it's high, higher in food now, obviously body weight's higher. This morning I was 91.15 uh, kgs. So yeah, around like 200 pounds. And at that point, obviously you're gonna need higher food. But we're moving at a very steady pace now. We just wanna go as slow as we can. So around like a kilo per month rate of gain now, because I'm where training flies and everything moves really well. But if you move very fast here, you're not gonna be here for long. You're gonna to have to die, and we don't want that when training is going so, so well. So yeah, I'm gonna show you my setup, my routine today as well. We've got legs later on as well. So I'll film, I'll, I'll film some clips from that as well. And yeah, it's gonna be a really good day, and we'll get cracking, and I'll show you, you know, what I eat in a day. So let's do it. All right, so we're gonna do meal one. It's a very easy meal. <laughs> and yeah, you'll probably be just uh, surprised because you're thinking I'm bulking, so I'm eating a lot of food, which I am. But, literally, all I have in my first meal is... Literally just protein. So this is a Trade by JP Performance Protein, and it's so good as a shake. I found Perform, it's nice, but it's better in oats and like, as a paste and a shake. This is a bit thinner. Uh, you can get uh, performance protein at Elite Sups. They sell it. Use my code PAL10, of course. It's really, really good. Uh, so all I do is I have 50 grams. And you're probably wondering, why am I having protein only in my first meal? Well, I can tell you now. So if you are deeper into your off-season, your appetite might be decreasing a little bit. Right now for me, my appetite isn't actually too bad. And I actually think part of that is the fact that I'm doing this. It's actually quite good. But... I was finding that my blood glucose was like in a pretty bad spot for a while to the point where there wasn't going to be that much longer that we could push for. I'd have to diet again. So we implemented um, this, Glycomax, which helped massively. But then it went back up again to like into the thighs, which is kind of where you don't really want it. So something we tried was taking carbs out of the first meal. The reason being is because that gives you just a bigger amount of time just where the pancreas isn't having to release insulin so you're just basically just alleviating the pancreas for a little bit longer which is then gonna make you prone to prevent insulin resistance building up because we're just leaving a longer period of time where we're just always pushing out insulin if you're always having carbs every single meal you're pushing out a lot of insulin so what i do is i'll have a protein shake and then i'll go for a walk um, just because like a brief walk helps as well to manage your blood glucose because you're just, again, you're, you're burning through blood sugar. So then by the time I'm having my first carb meal, which is my pre-workout meal, I'm so hungry and it just goes down so easily. And yeah, I've increased the food in the other meals, but those meals go down way easier and even the meals after it. So if you're struggling with your appetite, just do a protein shake. I promise it will help you so much. So protein in the first meal. You could even take, so I, I'm not even having fats. I'm taking the fats out and doing that later as well. Uh, because this is just a great way of reducing the amount of food you're eating in your first meal. When you wake up, you've been lying in bed for like you know hours and hours. Do you need that much energy yet? Uh, probably not. Um, yes, I know the first meal arguably is like a really important meal for energy needs. So if you're in a deficit, don't do this. But when food is really high, You've always got food circulating, so it doesn't matter if you do this at all. It's only when you're in a deficit you might want to prioritise carbohydrates in your first meal. Uh, so, yeah, that's a useful tip. And it tastes unreal, but off Sunday, this one. So good. Mm, 
Really, really good. Yeah, so every morning I'm currently going for like 20 minute walk. I'm actually probably going to do like 10, 15 minutes just because it's legs today. So I'm not trying to do crazy amounts of steps, but in my opinion, I don't really think doing steps is going to ruin your recovery that much. If anything, it can help sometimes. So as long as you're moving a lot, that helps a lot with mobility as well. So, and, and you've got to put, look at it like this. If, if I'm improving uh, my blood glucose through doing more steps, that's improving the use of food, which is your bi biggest recovery tool. So yeah, and it's enjoyable. That's something I missed. Like when I was in prep, I love the steps. I love the routine you get out. You're just like, right, I'm on a mission to burn as much fat as I can. I miss that a bit. So it's nice to get out. I think as well for your sleep, like seeing blue light as early as you can in the day regulates your sleep cycle uh, in terms of being synced up with your circadian rhythm. So yeah, it, there's so many positives to it. I, I've been doing a 10 minute walk after um, my meals as well. Not every meal, but just meals where like I know I need to do it. So when you got you got to look at it like this, like I've moved a lot of my carbs now to pre and post training, and it goes down so easy, and that's fine, and it's a really good move because that's where I need that energy pre and post workout. So it's being used. Whereas if you have a lot of food in like your fourth, your fifth meal, those are times when you're having a big cal calorie cal calorific meal, and you're just gonna sit there or go to sleep and that's not the best for uh, your blood, blood sugar. I'm speaking like this like I'm fucking diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> People go, oh you're trained to be healthy and here, here I am basically with diabetes. <laughs> you're probably obese on the bit of my aren't you? Or like, <laughs> yeah probably. Yeah fucking more probably obese. <laughs> Short five for eight guys, ninety kgs. That's sweet. Is it? Uh, yeah, really? that's sweet. Yeah, it's all. It's just your height really? and your weight. That's all it asks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's so dumb. Yeah. Right, guys. So I'm actually going to show you how to make your chicken and rice banging. I swear, it's so good. Um, this is the secret, and. I can never have any other seasoning on my chicken now after doing this. My mate, who's a really good chef, showed me it. And yeah, it's just it's every single chicken and rice meal has to be this, so <laughs> let's do it. Um, get out the seasoning. I'm basically becoming Gordon Ramsay now in this video. Should we draw some lines on your forehead? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say fuck like 10 times. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay would not be happy with you scissoring chicken. <laughs> yeah. It's so much easier, mate. God, so much washing up, saves so time. Right, so chicken's chopped up. Put a little bit of Greek yogurt on. I think it would be better, but I just haven't done it like this yet. If you do the Greek yogurt and the season and you mix it all together and then you put it on the chicken, that is probably the best way to do it, but. <laughs> so, curry powder, turmeric. You gotta get all of this. It's honestly, I'll tell you now that try this and then get back to me. Message me, be like, oh, Adam, I tried your chicken. I don't, I'm not, I don't know why I'm saying it's my chicken. This is probably a very well known recipe. <laughs> Cumin, chili powder. Now you just mix it. You do need an air fryer, really. I mean, you could fry it, but it wouldn't be as nice. The good thing about this chicken as well is it's really good cold. So, obviously, if you're meal prepping. So just like 13 minutes, I'll do it on 200 degrees and it'll be all crispy. Nice. I'm just going to get on with online coaching now, getting doing my check-ins, morning check-ins. So 
I'll just go through all of that and uh, yeah, just crack on with that and then pre-workout meal, off to the gym, usual routine really. So pre-workout meal, uh, obviously you saw me prepping the chicken, now it's all made and there's 150 grams of white rice with this, uh, the chicken's there, look at that, insane. This is pre-workout meal, so 150 grams of white rice, 200 grams of chicken, some salad and then dark chocolate, that's going to go down a treat. I have this afterwards, just some added fats to help slow digestion a little bit, just so you know those carbs stay in me for longer when I train. Um, and yeah, just to prevent like blood sugar going up really quick. So also, I'm going to have Glycomax, so three tablets with every carb meal, and then yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. So I freeze. <laughs> now time to eat. You gotta try this chicken though. Try it, tell me what you think. It's insane, I love it. So, just making my pre, which is, I've got a Percy Pigs loaded EAAs by CMP. Uh, this one actually tastes really nice, kind of tastes like pink lemonade, really, really good. Uh, so what I do is I have non-flavored carbs, Carb Drive by Conte, and then I just put this on top, and it's really, really good. So yeah, get these at least ups, of course, as always, Power 10. Uh, but I definitely suggest this one by CMP. It's probably my favourite one by CMP that I've tried so far. Very, very nice. And yeah, so I'm making that. And then also, I'm going to show you guys something that arrived yesterday was these two pre's. So, farmer grade pre, and then the farmer grade pump as well. So, I've got legs today. I'm going to do one scoop of this, so just a little bit of pump, and then I'm going to do two scoops of this, so I can, you know, I really want to try this at like full pelt. 300 milligrams of caffeine for two scoops, so it's not like crazy, crazy high, but it's a good level. We'll see how we go. I'll do a review. Um, I'll do a taste test as well in the car, and I'll let you guys uh, know what I think. And then obviously, if you want to get it, go to Elite Subs, Pal 10. But it looks very promising. The panel looks really good, stacked with lots of things. So yeah, promising stuff. So yeah, this is the cherry lime flavor. So two scoops of this, 14 grams. Where the fuck is the scoop? I hate this when you like can't find the scoop and then you're just gonna have to put your hand in there. Oh, I can't be asked for it. There it is. <laughs> Always weigh your pre guys because the scoops are so inaccurate and then you can like you know, say you don't you don't have to always do half. Say sometimes if you want like a, a decent serving and not crazy, you could do like two thirds of a scoop and stuff like that. Twenty grams of this. I don't know, ten grams I'm doing one. Cool. Oh, shit. This is the sour gummy the the pump. So sour gummy, cherry lime, might be a good mix. Right, so just got in the car, gonna go to the gym. It's a lovely day actually. Finally the weather is actually getting pretty nice. So yeah, um got legs and I'm gonna quickly before I drive, because I can't film myself driving obviously, I'm gonna do a little taste test of this pre. We'll see. So it's cherry lime with sour gummy as a mix. It's good, it is nice. Um very cherry. Very cherry. Right. Yeah, like really cherry. A lot of cherry. Cherry lime. I guess it makes sense. Cherry lime. Kind of just tastes like how you expect, really. Kind of tastes like... If you've ever had like Pepsi Max lime and Pepsi Max cherry and you mixed it in a drink, that's how it would taste. Yeah, it was nice. Not bad. So we just got to the coach. It is 12.45 and yeah, feeling the pre already. Pretty good, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I am someone that does enjoy pre-workouts. I always like get having like a strong pre, but the trouble is now I'm deeper into the off season. I just don't tolerate it as much. I'm just out of breath, just so out of breath when I'm taking like 300 plus milligrams of caffeine usually. Uh, on every pre, you know, if you do like high rep sets, it's a no-go. Uh, so we'll see how this goes because it's not it's not got like DMA which is what MP Pre has which makes it really really strong but yeah it's good and I like the focus stuff in it like Alpha GPC really good supplement so we'll see how it goes 
Feeling good, ready to smash it. I'll give you my review, proper review on the pre afterwards because obviously it's still sort of kicking in, but feeling good, really like it so far. Obviously I'm not training yet, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's let's go train. One more thing though, actually I forgot, I have to confess, well, it's not, it was partially my fault. <laughs> I charged this camera on the floor and then Milo turned it on. So it's on 58% right now. I could either charge it in the gym for a bit and just skip a couple of the first exercises or I could just do like little bits. I think I'll probably just skip the first couple of exercises because realistically, I'm sure you guys don't really care about a leg curl that much and a leg extension. You want to see the better stuff. Uh, but that's why if that's not there, blame Milo. His fault. <laughs> nah, I should have put the camera somewhere else. He's quite clever. I don't know how he knew that was on by busting this tiny button, but fair play. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling on. Let's train. Right, so uh, the camera is charged. We're one exercise in, did leg extensions, onto leg curls, and yeah, session's going well. Charlie's also got a new pre in, and we're both fucked. So, we're proper raring to go. But I 100% recommend this pre, and this isn't me just saying that. Like, this pre is sick, I really like it. It's strong, but it's a lot of nootropic stuff, which is nice, because I like more like the focus sort of feeling, as opposed to just like your heart rate just racing. So, yeah, if you're looking for a new free, definitely this one is to get, the one to get.
That was an absolutely insane leg session, uh, really good fun, plenty of progression. It's just a session you sort of want to do where uh, loads of energy, that pre-workout did absolute bits. I'm, I'm a massive fan of that actually. And I think maybe just a slightly lower dosage would be spot on because the focus stuff was really good so you don't need to go too crazy with it. So yeah, really happy with that pre. Not too as like, doesn't make you as jacked up as MV pre, but the level of focus and everything, just amazing. So I really, really recommend that. I think I prefer it to defib, probably one of the top pre's I've had actually. Uh, but yeah, gonna get back, need to eat my post-workout and we'll show you the post-workout meal right now. It's probably one of the best meals of the day. And yeah, I will see you back uh, with my massive carbohydrate meal. <laughs> so we're finally back. That was a sick leg session, but I'm absolutely starving. I'm so hungry driving back. I was just like, oh, which is a good sign being at where I am now in my off season. It just shows meal one, if you take carbs out, it helps your appetite so much. And now I'm gonna have a huge meal, which is gonna be good. So yeah, we'll show you the post-workout. Gotta finish every box. <laughs> so yeah, 150 grams of cereal with protein. I usually have almond milk unsweetened because it's like 30 calories per, per serving, pretty much. But run out. But luckily, this is really nice. I think it'll be right. So I do 40 grams of jam, which is quite a lot, which is nice to be honest. Not, not on prep anymore. I can definitely lick my knife. <laughs> and then the essential thing is bananas. <laughs> There's 100 grams. That is post-workout meal. So I'm right. It's crazy how hungry I am. Mm. It's like I'm on prep again. Yeah, I thought you don't, you're not supposed to get hungry anymore. It's a good thing because a couple of weeks ago, oh no, like maybe like a month ago, I was struggling with food. It's just because I've been on this level of food for a while now. It's not increasing, is it? Really? Um, it's been the same for like a month, but it'll go up. Uh, pretty soon, I think, because body weight's pretty been like gone up like a kilo in a month. So, mm. raspberry jam is so much better than strawberry jam all day. <laughs> I think they're pretty much the same, mate. No, nah. if you're thinking like old oh, sugar, is that a problem? Not at all, in my opinion. Post workout, I'm in a really depleted state. So, like getting all this food in right now is perfect for me. It's really easy calories to get down and very fast acting carbohydrates that are gonna rapidly absorb, which I need at this point after being so depleted from a really big leg session. And it does a job. So this is probably gonna be, if, if I'm gonna next increase food, I might add more to this because it goes down so easily and it's at a time where I need it. Whereas if you have more calories in other meals, like your first meal or meals where you're not moving as much or you're not in as much of a depleted state, you haven't been exercising, then that's when you can see more insulin resistance build up. And that's something that we want to control as much as we can because better insulin sensitivity, better use of food, partitioning nutrients into the muscle, more recovery, more growth. So that's what we want. Hmm? That was rapidly badly. 
So I'm also going to have 20 grams of dark chocolate with this, but I'll just get it after. So believe me, I'm going to have it. <laughs> So, time to do the final meal of the day, which is Greek yogurt. Well, is it Greek yogurt? Yeah. Got this from Aldi, it's really high in protein. Per 200 grams, 26 grams of protein, which is really ideal. So, 270 grams of this. grams of granola. <laughs> Fucking hell. This is not going to be happy with that. 20 grams of nut butter. And lastly, 20 grams of dark chocolate. I did, well, I was meant to have berries. I went to Audi to do my food shop. And then I forgot. So there's 10 carbs in the Greek yogurt, which is like pretty much the same as berries, so I'll just track that. Usually I would have berries, because obviously it's very important for your health to have berries, but I feel that. That's it, final meal of the day. So if you're struggling, last meal of the day is always, oh my god, more granolas going everywhere. Uh, last, last meal of the day is always the hardest I find to get in, to be honest. Like, I kind of just want to chill out, and I'm like, oh, I've got to eat food, so granola is always the best shout for me. It is quite high in fiber, so you might not digest it the best. Just see how you get on with it. I'm not too bad with it, so this is a really good meal before bed. And it's it's good because it's not that high volume as well, so it's pretty easy to get down. So yeah, final meal of the day. Granola, yogurt, dark chocolate, nut butter. So final meal, like I said, uh, granola, easy to get down. but. Yeah, been a pretty pretty good day. Legs was really good, and yeah, just been enjoying the off season right now. So, <laughs> Marley's toys are going off, but yeah, in a point now with training that is just so fun, and I'm just really excited for the future with it. The fact that I haven't got to diet for a while is is very exciting. Whereas you know, usually at this point I'd have a prep around the corner, which would kind of make it harder training, but. Yeah, really excited for the future with that. Uh, but thank you for watching, guys. Going to keep the videos coming. Uh, we're back to weekly uploads, like I said. We'll keep that coming. Uh, repping the new natural bodybuilding worldwide hoodie in grey. Really, really nice. Uh, so, very happy to have this. But yeah, going to eat this, chill out, and then um, rest up tomorrow. And then back in for push on Saturday. So yeah, that's all for me, guys. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, all that stuff. All the usual stuff, really. And I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.